Well, I suppose you're all wondering why I called this meeting. It's time for the final different puzzle, the extra mode difficulty level of Free the Innocent Man. So will our mystery guests sign in, please. We have... Thievery Murder Kidnapping Arson Swindling and bodily injury. So time to go check out the riddle. We may visit death upon the head of the sinner, but to what avail? In the name of retribution, we took part in a bitter comedy this day. You, hanging as you do, by your neck, unforgiven and cursed by all. Five of them committed crimes, six went out for a drink and were captured there. Only one of them was innocent, but they knew not that. The bloodstains remaining are proof of their guilt. Trodden upon and thus created, they are the paths to hell or the void. So there are bloodstains here, and... Evidently what we're looking for is the actual proof of their guilt. The white bandages stained with crimson, the remains upon the scorched black earth, the whispered cries of the maiden, they are but a meaningless contract. So let's examine what we have here. The white bandages stained with crimson would mean the bandages are bloody. So the two actual crimes that would seem to involve blood, we have bodily injury and murder. Between the two, though, bandages wouldn't go on a murder victim, so that would fit bodily injury. The remains upon the scorched black earth is pretty obvious. Something was burned. That would be arson. The whispered cries of the maiden. Thinking about everything we have here, the whispered cries would seem to indicate someone was taken away, so this means kidnapping. They are but a meaningless contract. Now this line is easy to miss. It makes it sound like they're talking about the other evidence, but the meaningless contract itself is evidence. If we think about the three remaining crimes, one of them is swindling, which indeed would fit a meaningless contract, one drawn up with no real intention of honoring it. So that leaves us with two different crimes remaining, thievery and murder. They are also signs of guilt. But one of them was done without reason, it was done out of fear and a ripe imagination. So, between the two remaining crimes, which seems more likely to be done without reason and out of fear and imagination? Stealing something doesn't really seem like it would fit that, but murdering someone, out of the fear that maybe they'd get to the authorities and talk, that makes more sense, so the murderer is guilty. Spinning alone at the end of a rope, it is nothing less than a disgrace to us all. So the only crime that wasn't mentioned anywhere within the riddle is thievery. And that would be this first rope here. So with that, it's back to claim our key. Huzzah! The puzzle is solved. So I was asked to come back to the employee area once I had the flashlight again to look for a hidden message somewhere. The only one I could find is this. There's a heater here. On the back in small letters it says, I'm Johnny, one hot guy. What? Even for Silent Hill, that's weird. I don't know what to say about that or where to go from that. Uh, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, that's the only secret message I've been able to find anywhere here. So if it's a different one, let me know. But uh, 
that's the only one I could find. So the music box puzzle isn't actually different, but people did want me to show what happens if you get it wrong. So let's see here. I want to believe Snow White was happy. Let's see. Greed stained the Little Mermaid shoe with blood, certainly. And Cinderella was cursed with great beauty. That's how the fairy tales work, right? <laughs> this doesn't sound quite right. Well, that's an understatement. So, yes, if you get the music box puzzle wrong, that's all that happens. No real penalty or anything. Just some disjointed music, if you can even call it that. Upon reaching the Otherworld version of the Lakeview Hotel, you can find the final ritual item. It's right around here and located on the bookshelf. The book, Crimson Ceremony. The title is Crimson Ceremony. Speak, I am the Crimson One. The lies and the mist are not they, but I. You all know that I am one. Yes, and the one is I. Believers hearken to me, twenty score men and seven thousand beasts. Heed my words and speaketh them to all, that they shall ever be obeyed, even under the light of the proud and merciless sun. I shall bring down bitter vengeance upon thee, and thou shalt suffer my eternal wrath. The beauty of the withering flower and the last struggles of the dying man, they are my blessings. Charming. Thou shalt ever call upon me, and all that is me in the place that is silent. O proud fragrance of life, which flies toward the heart, O cup which brims with the whitest of wine, it is in thee that all begins. And thus we're pretty much set. So long as you have all four of these items, the Book of Lost Memories, the Crimson Tome, the White Chrism, and the Obsidian Goblet, no matter what other ending you might have been close to getting, this is the one you're going to get. At least if you go for the final boss encounter. There are actually a couple of endings that you can get prematurely, but we'll cover those later. <laughs>